In example number three, we're asked to determine the equation for the plane. Okay, we're finding a plane that's perpendicular to the line of intersection of these two planes. On this page, we're going to find the line of intersection, and then I'll draw what this looks like in the next page and finish the example. So we want to find the line of intersection of these, and then we're looking for the plane that's perpendicular to that line and passes through the point 5, negative 1, 4, or contains the point 5, negative 1, 4. So let's find the uh, intersection of the red and blue plane first. And again, I'll call them equations 1 and 2. Now, noticing that the x's are the same right away, I don't have to worry about multiplying them by any constants to get the two x terms the same, or opposites. So I can actually, right away, uh, subtract these. x minus x is no x's. And again, so I'm going to eliminate x and solve in terms of z. And, and so when we subtract, of course, x minus x is no x's, 0x. y take away 2y is negative y. Negative 3z minus negative z is the same as negative 3z plus z, so that's negative 2z. And 4 minus 1 is 3. Now, I'm going to solve for y, so what I would normally do is if I multiply everything by negative 1 to change the y coefficient to positive, then we would get this. We multiply by negative 1, then of course that changes everything to a positive and of course that to a negative. And so when I go to solve for y and bring the 2z over here, that's why it ends up being negative. So it's negative 3, which is already on the right side, minus the 2z. So that's what y equals. Now I'm going to eliminate y. So I have y in terms of z, eliminate y, and then get x in terms of z. So I'm going to multiply that equation by 2 so that I have a, a 2y and a 2y. So the first equation, remember all the coefficients get multiplied by 2. So 2, 2, negative 6, 8 are the coefficients. And of course the 2y is the same, so we subtract again. 2x minus 1x is x. The y's subtract to 0. Negative 6z minus negative z is the same as negative 6z plus z, so it's negative 5z, and 8 minus 1, 7. So solving for x, we'll rearrange and bring the 5z over here, and uh, x would be 7 plus 5z. So if we write out the uh, parametric equations or for this line of intersection of these two planes, uh, and letting z be the parameter t, so we would get x equals 7 plus 5t, y would equal negative 3 minus 2t, and z equals t. Now you don't have to always sir, solve for x and y in terms of z. If it was more convenient you could let x be the parameter t and solve for y in terms of x and z in terms of x and that would still work or you could do it uh, in terms of y. You solve for x in terms of y and z in terms of y and let y be the parameter t. It doesn't have to always be z. So that's the line of intersection of these two planes. So over to the uh, next page. So here's our parametric equation. So this is what it looks like. We've got these two planes intersecting in a line. So that is this line here. And this, what, this is what our plane looks like. And it's supposed to be perpendicular. That's what the problem said. And contain the point 5, negative 1, 4. So 5, negative 1, 4 is some point on this plane. Now, in order to get, and I'm going to write the scalar equation or Cartesian equation for this plane. The plane is perpendicular to the line. So the direction vector for the line, which would be 5, negative 2, 1, we can use that for a normal vector for the plane. Because the line, 5, negative, one, negative 2, 1, that's its direction vector, is perpendicular to the plane. So that has to be in the same direction as a normal vector for this plane. Again, because they're perpendicular. The line's perpendicular to the plane. So I can use 5, negative 2, 1, 5, negative 2, 1 for a normal vector for this plane the one perpendicular to the line of intersection. So remember, th those then are the coefficients of x, y, and z in my plane. And I just have to find the constant d here. And remember, we find that by using the point. We know that 5, negative 1, 4 is on the plane, so it must satisfy the plane's equation. So I'm going to substitute uh, 5, negative 1, and 4 in place of x, y, and z, and solve for d. So that's 25. This would be plus 2, plus 4, plus d equals 0. So 25 and 2 is 27, and uh, 4 more is 31. 
So D would work out to be negative 31. And so the Plane's equation is, substituting negative 31 in place of D, 5x minus 2y plus z minus 31 equals 0. So that is our plane.